Hi everyone, Mr. Morgan Lewis here at the school. In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit more about push-ups. Um, Mr. Tando did do a video in the past with showing different types of push-ups you can do. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about the different ways in which you can do push-ups. So types versus ways are two different things. So when we're talking about types, we're talking about the position of the hands um, and the, the, the action you perform whilst doing the push-up. And of course, we'll, we'll talk about a uh, way of doing it. It's whether you do it fast, slow, uh, with incline, decline, that kind of thing. So from here, obviously, uh, push-ups are one of the most effective exercises known uh, when it comes to upper body conditioning. Um, it's quite a good alternative to using uh, hip, uh, free, free weights or hand weights because the pressure for it comes from your body. So it's a really, really good exercise for developing your shoulders, or your triceps. It's good for wrist strength, the core as well. Um, so what we're gonna talk about is the different ways in which you can perform. So I've got a, a few different things here. I've got some tie pads to demonstrate with, and I've got these push-up bars, which are very, very effective for encouraging good form when it comes to push-ups. Now, form is a very important thing because if your form isn't correct, you'll find yourself hitting a plateau within your training, but also you're at risk of injuring yourselves, pulling nerves in different places, especially in your back. And um, it, you know, it can be quite off-putting when you're performing push-ups and you're not feeling the benefit from it. So, of course, the standard way of doing push-ups is whether you're on your knees or on your toes, you develop it by practicing what's comfortable for you. So beginners, we encourage to start on their knees and gradually build up to on their toes when they feel strong enough and confident to do so. Um, the difference between the two is obviously when you're practicing on your knees, you, you do get a workout, you do get a burn effect. Um, but of course, if you practice long enough and you don't, you don't then take the next step to practicing on your toes, then you will plateau very, very quickly. So you have to make that jump at some point. But in any case, the different ways you do them. So generally when it comes to push-ups, you have all the different types that work different muscle groups. So you have the wide ones for the chest, you have the closer ones for the triceps, shoulders, and the chest combined. You have military style where your hands are and your elbows are effectively brushing past your ribs to develop the triceps. But let's think about the ways in which it's beneficial. So obviously from here, we're talking standard push-ups. The faster you do push-ups, the more it's working the stamina or the endurance of your muscle group. So we're targeting the shoulders here, all right? So this kind of pace, when it comes to push-ups, is ideal for developing endurance in your shoulders because it's more just up, down, up, down. It's a continuous pace and it's more about how many you can do in one set before you can't do another one. But when you slow a push-up down, that encourages more muscle tear and it encourages more strength to build. So for instance, we take the same type of press up, but instead of going down, up, down, up, we go really slow on each action. You'll notice it's a difference when you do it, but you go down nice and slow, using your breathing as control and then up, slow. So that's really encouraging the muscles to work harder to keep you off the ground. All right, so you go down, up oh, really slow. Now in terms of how long to do it for, well, challenge yourself. Generally three or four, two, two to three, maybe even four seconds going down in the same amount of time coming up is a, is a good way to develop strength. There's also developing the plyometric side of things. Now plyometrics refers to the fast twitch muscle fibers in your, in your muscles that allow you to perform quick actions in a short amount of time, but it needs a lot, it uses a lot of force. So. Push-ups can be used in a plyometric manner without necessarily having to do clap push-ups and that at first, okay? Um, or the, the one down from that would be just to push off. So if you're building up, what I suggest you do is start by doing the same push-ups as we were doing, but changing the time. So you go down slow, but you explode up really fast. So for instance, let's say it takes three seconds to go down. So we go one, two, three, and then we push as hard as we can, and then so on and so forth. Okay, so so again, generally, faster push-ups develop more endurance, your ability to do more push-ups, and uh, lessen the fatigue in your in your arms, so how quickly they fatigue. Slower push-ups tend to build more strength, and then you've got the mixture of the two where you, you go down slow and up fast, that's more triggering the plyometrics. Now, as of these, okay, if we were using these 
different types of equipment here, this will encourage the muscles to work harder because you're forcing your, your form to improve through using these. And also what you can get is, I'm using tie pads for this, but you can use uh, concrete blocks or a couple of, uh, uh, you know, a couple of uh, blocks stacked on top of each other. What this is doing is, is encouraging the muscles to work harder, but this is where you can start adding inclines and declines. So with the push-up bars, this is making, making you go in between those bars, really stretching the chest and then you push. So it's making you keep your form good to perform the push-ups. It's also a good alternative um, to necessarily just relying on wide width ones. By doing this, it stretches and works the different types of muscles. Now, if we were using these, for instance, which is always a good way to challenge you, you can do it where your hands are on top of the pads, so you go right down in between. A bit like that, but it's a little bit higher. So your, your muscles stretch even more to get the stimulation going. You can also put your feet on top of them, so you have more of a, uh, an angle this way, so you're putting more pressure on your shoulders. Uh, one of my personal favorites is you can actually go in between the pads with your presser, and then use a plyometric action to jump from here to here. So to demonstrate, you go down and then you push up here and then you come back into the middle. So you push from the floor, hands on top, and that's really gonna get the biometrics going. Okay, so apart from the different types of press ups there are, it's more about the different ways you do them and how slow versus how fast you do them, um, how high you are off the ground or how, uh, however way you're doing it. Now in terms of how much to do, well to be honest, everyone's different. So when it comes to push ups like these, Different, different ways of doing them, just perform what you can until you can't do any more, and do it in sets. Um, you can, if you're looking to do an upper body workout, then you wanna try and incorporate a few different ways or types of doing press ups, and just do them until you're, you're starting to notice that your form is lacking, or you start fatiguing, and then that's when you know you don't wanna go pushing too much more, because obviously you don't wanna hurt yourselves. But um, those are different ways of developing more strength and endurance in the arms, just using your push-ups, okay? So always, you can always refer back to Mr. Tando's video where he shows the different types of press-ups, you can do the different shapes of the hands and the different ways your body interacts with the press-ups. And the reason for all of that is to, or one of the reasons for it is to just challenge the body so it doesn't get used to doing one thing. But it, mean, it encourages your different muscle fibers to work and it encourages a lot of core as well, which is good. All right, all we're, all we're demonstrating here is just the different ways in which you can perform a standard push-up. Okay, so hopefully there's something you can use and add to your uh, workout routine, but uh, let us know what you think, like and share the video, and uh, if, you, if you would like any more suggestions as to different ways of performing a certain exercise, then you know, let us know and we will do that. We'll give you a video on that. But um, in any case, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, as always, happy training.